What did you think? I, there's one moment in that pops straight into my head. Uh, the funniest moment. Go on then, what's your funniest moment? It's got to be Specs Fake Specs Crying. Specs Fake Crying. Oh my God, mate. When we got out and we was in like the trailer outside, I was speaking to her. So I was like, how much do you think you actually spent the sweets a lot of whatever? And he went, if you see when I fake cried, he's like, what the f*** am I doing? Yeah. Bro, even he's like, what am I doing? Bro, it's amazing. It's the way it just, everything... He like method acts everything. Yeah. He's so good. His you don't whole ever life switch is a off. character. Yeah. You don't ever switch yeah, yeah. off as That's, well. Like, it's actually impossible so to I was saying about. to him, we all hung about afterwards for like a couple of hours. And I was saying to him, because like he told someone on the show like, oh, my real name's this. And I was saying to him, you're like a mirage to me. Like you don't exist because <laughs> I don't know anything about you. I don't know. You might not have three kids. Yeah. You might not be this man. I don't know anything about you. All I know is that we've given Specs a, a, a go at a game show. And then I, might, I won't see you again. Like, You're like a mirage. When when you send him his money, like are you even sending it to him? This is what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. He's like, yeah, he's just like a one. One thing that he says on this podcast is his favorite thing to do is lie. Yeah, he's and he that. and he just he said it's free. Yeah, he, he was going on the, on there. He's going. He's going. It's okay. I can just lie. Lying is free. I love it. <laughs> he kept saying the the phrase as well. Check your mirror. Is that check because oh, he loves that one. There's so many oh, moments. Man. Yeah, because of we had a stream up of it at home that we could just tune into at all times. Was that not a bit weird? It was a bit weird, but it was also like. It helps because I would pick up on conversations that some people weren't picking up on and then put in a chat saying, oh, they just said they're bored. Can we whack this in the shop or something like that? So it actually helps. So we were sort of like live producing it all at the same time. Um, oh, that's class. But yeah, so it's, but like they'd say something and then it was just, it's fun. Yeah, that is, man, I'm telling you, Specs was absolutely Specs is, class. It was weird. He was getting a bad reaction at first, but then like, I think he pulled it back. People were saying, now I might have missed this. Was he getting but, a bad reaction? No, yeah. The first yeah. like three, four episodes, they were saying that he was like creepy and yeah. all this. What, I com was this comments, Twitter? Well, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. everywhere. He, yeah. It's just because he hugs people, man. It's, it's yeah, just he's just very friendly. Guy. Yeah, exactly. He's really friendly. He's not. He's, not he's really and, friendly. And I don't think people realize actually, but uh, Specs and Chloe yeah. were uh, are, like really friends, close. They're good yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. that who do we say? And so, yeah, because he would like hug Chloe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I also feel like once you see one comment, you sort of just they run with it. Yeah, you run yeah. with it, like, and then the other people will go, "Oh yeah, bit of a weird guy, isn't he?" You didn't even think that for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw that. I was a bit gutted to see him getting the stick. And I can't fathom how people don't find him funny though. Yeah, I, but again, I think he's more for a he's more for an audience like us. I think like yeah. older. I think like mm. the younger people watching Side Men just don't get it. Let yeah. me. Um, he, uh, I'll, I'll double check that he's going to be okay with me playing this. <laughs> on Did the voice note you sent in the chat? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I want to, but I want to play it anyways because I know you guys will find it and I'm 99% sure he doesn't give a fuck. So um, I, I texted him on Tuesday. So after like maybe ep two or ep three and I said, you're killing me on this show. How can um, a girl referring to Leah turn down a chance to see her boyfriend on their anniversary and you go and spend it all on sweets? <laughs> right. Hey, this is, this is what he, this is what he replies with. Leah, that boyfriend go to hell, man. They can go to hell. What do you mean? What do you mean? But listen, it gets worse, girl. It gets worse in there. Oh, mate. <laughs> Leo and her boyfriend could go to hell, man. <laughs> bro, he just, he's hilarious, bro. He's, he's just so constantly good. on it. So I really, I like space. And it was nice to see that he had a bit of an arc at the end. People yeah, actually started yeah. to understand. And I can kind of get, if yeah. you don't get his humor to begin with, it probably is a bit weird. Mm. But by the end of it, everyone picked yeah, exactly. up. And I think the cast them. worked out to be actually amazing. Because you had like balance. two or three people that actually cared about the game, which majorly helps. Because if you yeah. just had every, like as soon as they voted Nifay out, bro, they just fucking run right. They did, literally, she left the door, they run to the shop. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I reckon she could still hear them going, yeah! It was mental. That's crazy as well, because it was like just before the final. So it's yeah. like, that money now, you should probably just chill. No, but then they just thought, fuck it. They like, went, oh, she's gone now. Yeah. Let's go spend the prize money. Yeah, exactly. Everything so, got so, a lot cheaper though. Did on it? The, yeah, on we, the, we, oh, we, like, flash, that. we flash sailed a lot of it just to like, let him have their food. Who, who was like, um, did you guys ever get a chance or like, did you have a say in like the shop prices or do you have producers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like uh, the day me and JJ were in, yeah. we w me and JJ said, can we take two beds away? That was just like an off the cuff thing. We was oh, like, nice. can we just take two beds away? Just fuck it, troll So them. you actually like yeah. having a good- And then uh, Ginger's darts every stuff. day. Yep. Uh, when I was in there, 
so originally it was like five k for the full set of darts. I said charge him five k per dart. So if he, he can have one dart for five k, and then he just sit there throwing it repeatedly. So it, we we just played around with it. Really. Were, were you ever worried? I mean, to be fair, after the first couple of days, you were probably all right. And I remember even asking you boys in the group chat because mm. you see when the prize pool was a million quid, and you guys yeah. came out and said, "Look, we got a, th- a million quid prize pool." I remember putting in the chat, guys, like, "Are you serious? Like, mm. are you right?" Like. You guys could end up giving away. I, I, it was never going to be a million. But yeah, you could be giving away seven hundred fifty eight hundred k. Were you worried about that at all? Not really, because it would have like, say, we ended up giving away like four hundred grand or whatever. That like that would go so viral. Yeah. Everyone would want to come on inside. But also, when you're casting like, uh, so I'm on the fence now. I was very much on the side of doing one with just like just random people off the street, but normal people off the street would like, they'd probably fight each other over this shit. Whereas influencers, they don't give a fuck, man. They know what content is. So they'll happily spend the cash because it's not yeah. theirs. It's just there as like a concept. So it's a bit more fun with them because they, they don't mind it. But these lot were spending money like it was going out of fashion, mate. Yeah. Like they was... It were you was worried that it was ever going to go to zero? Well, yeah, but the last challenge, we had to give the money back. Yeah. We had to give the money back because <laughs> I was like, realistically, we still want it to be like... So I think our show is three point something times bigger than any game show in the UK has ever given away. So we're like, hold the record for amount given away, really? which is quite cool. Yeah. Um, but um, <clears throat> not more than like who wants to be a millionaire though and stuff like that. Right. Cause they, <laughs> they, they're giving away a quarter of a million. Something people. like compared to like reality shows, okay. like reality, reality show prizes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no. So at one point we, we did think, holy shit, that the, the final is going to be underwhelming. Cause like if you try and split us still for like, Again, yeah, influencers. If you try and split or steal for like 20 grand, they're not really going to give a fuck. They'll just steal yeah. it. Whereas like, for like big amounts of cash, there's a lot more that goes into it. Like, oh, it, I don't want to walk away with nothing. In your heart of hearts, mm. because I know for me, at the end, low key, I wanted to steal. Probably had to steal. Yeah. I told her this. I, you know, she would have gone down like because of the public reaction. Yeah. And I, I want to talk about Manrique in a second. Yeah. But... Uh, Chloe would have gone down almost like a national hero. Yeah, but she oh, didn't yeah. know because that at the time. Yeah, of course she so didn't know that. It's like tough. Yeah. Uh, in a, no, she would friends with her. Yeah, exactly. That's one thing. I think if anyone else was stood there, yeah. then Chloe steals. She said that anyway. But yeah. I, I said to her, I was like, have anyone I expected you just, just steal? Yeah. Because she said it the whole time as well. There's so many different brain processes going into it. And then like, I just lost the energy for it. And I was like, no, nah, man, I think it's going to be shit. Oh, no <laughs> way. Really? And, and uh, you know me, once like I... Uh, it's, gone. Negative, it's gone for yeah, me man gone. so I was just sort of like nah man like I thought I thought you were quite good at hosting uh, your bit JJ, JJ said the same thing yeah. Oh, yeah when we finished that when we wrapped our day he was like yo bro you killed it man and I was like I can never tell if he's being serious or not <laughs> yeah. I was like oh well thanks I just appreciate it. you and um, JJ and the eating one mm. were definitely the most entertaining like you hosts of it it carried it because the, the games did go yeah, along to be fair, quite, uh, wow. people who work at like side plus and stuff like that all said there was like that cut together so sickly like yeah. really nice <laughs> I think the best one to watch was maybe the silent library I think like the the, the vibes of them all being trying to be quiet and stuff like that I quite enjoyed but yeah yeah the eating one that, they had the best two people I think for the eating one to host it yeah me and JJ are just relentless bro we're not gonna like Vic was there and Leah was trying to eat the lemon or whatever he would have let her off if, like, yeah because yeah. that was the bit that I realised I thought I was watching it I was like oh she's done a good shift here surely yeah, when's no, he gonna say that's no. good and he just didn't no, and she kept no. having to eat yeah, the lemon, eat the yeah, lemon. Yeah, and it was a big I wanted them too, if, if they threw up I wanted them to have to eat the sick that's what I said at one point because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to lose the 40 grand bro spoon the sick up you're sick you're actually sick in the head <laughs> but it worked so it worked man yeah it worked because it, it like when I said that in the room as well they was like no nah, man I do it can't do it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But no it, it's been ridiculous I mean like it's a format that exists already, but we just changed it up a little bit. Well, I yeah. feel like you took a bunch of different shows and sort of merged them <coughs> yeah, together, actual, right? You got like, again, big up locked in because they are good, yeah. And they've done yeah. a couple of seasons, but like they're not the first to just whack people in the house and film. No, of no. course not. So it is like a mix of like Big Brother from growing up mixed with Too Hot to Handle where there's a prize pot and it will come out of it and people be sneaky. Stripping and bands, the bare minimum as well was quite fun. Yeah, yeah. the food bit. Do you know what it is as well? Um, it's, it's adults acting like kids because like, you know, you shouldn't be doing something. Yeah. Everything is always funnier when you know you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, yeah the so shop that's, was yeah, fucking unreal, yeah, man. That was yeah. the best bit for me about everything. The shop, it caused chaos. Oh, I bro. think next time though, we need to focus more on like, there's so many funny chats and shit that we missed out on because of the shop stuff. But again, like the first day draft edit coming at six hours. So it's like, <gasps> yeah, and we have to condense it down to like two. There was that much content. 
that's why luckily we did the extended cuts and stuff like that. Yeah. It was it was long. How long are the extended cuts on side parts? Like two hours still. Jesus. Yeah. Two hours and then you gotta get another hour off it to get yeah, it on exactly. YouTube. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And I can only imagine how many like Steven jokes went missing as well. Yeah. Because Steven probably had some belters that. in there, man. He, oi, let, let's talk about his his first one. Yeah. Have you seen <laughs> Kai and Phantom re yeah, no, yeah. react to it? The Kobe Bryant it got, line. It got queried <laughs> in our chat. It got queried. Oh, obviously in the UK, we're a bit more brash with our jokes and we yeah. can like let them fly. But I feel like I did say in there, I was like, the Americans aren't going to like this one. Not at all. But, I, have, I, mean, I haven't seen this. What? When was it's the first Kobe episode. And this, straight out the gate. No, no, straight out so the gate. So this was it, right? It's oh episode goodness. one. And it's, within and it's like when first... people are just going through the door. Yeah. And Steven tries, makes a joke about like helicopters he goes, crashing. Or yeah, it's not the first person to get a helicopter and fuck it. Yeah. The, the Kobe Bryant way. Yeah. What? Yeah, I know, yeah. Did that go into YouTube? Bro, and you just I see that on TikTok, it. you see them reacting to it and they just Must go, missed it. oh man. Oh, oh man. Get all emotional. Yeah, yeah. Crying. But, but I mean like, I thought that was going to set the tone for like yeah. his commentary, but he actually doesn't have, uh, yeah, like I said. It's a shame it sounded like he was recording it in his fucking bedroom though. Yeah, Steven, as a voiceover Steven. guy, get get uh, get one of these, we'll send you Steven, one. Steven, please, mate, you got please. got to do it at home. Mate, have you not heard, when he does right. it, it sounds like he's got a duvet over like he's his under head. the bed yeah, going, yeah. hello guys, yeah, welcome to this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but yeah. No, it was amazing though. But he was class, so. 